Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. We have just now learned how to solve an equation and get a solution. But think of forming an equation if we have a solution. Say we have x equal to 5 as a solution of some equation and now we want to find the equation. We can take many paths. Either I can say that add 2 on both sides then the equation will become x plus 2 equal to 5 plus 2 and x plus 2 equal to 7 is the required equation whose solution was x equal to 5. But I can also form another equation by saying multiply by 4 on both sides will give me 4x equal to 20 and then subtract 3 on both sides. This gives us 4x minus 3 equal to 20 minus 3 that is 4x minus 3 equal to 17. That means if we have one solution we can form a number of equations. But given a equation there can be only one solution. So we state that when we solve an equation we get only one solution. But if we have a solution, we can form a number of equations. Let us read the question. The sum of 3 times a number and 11 is 32. Find the number. To solve this question, let us start by assuming that let the number be x. Now the sum of 3 times the number, 3 times the number means 3x and 11 is equal to 32. So we have a equation from the condition that sum of 3 times the number plus 11 is 32. Now let us solve this equation we get 3x equal to 32 minus 11. So 3x equal to 21. Now dividing by 3 on both sides. We will get 3x by 3 equal to 21 by 3. On solving, we get x equal to 7. So, x equal to 7 is the required number. Let us confirm it. Take the left hand side of the equation and substitute x equal to 7. We get 3x plus 11 at x equal to 7 is equal to 3 into 7 plus 11 which is 21 plus 11 which is equal to 32 or the right hand side of the equation hence x equal to 7 is the required answer or the required number. Let us read the question. Find a number such that one fourth of the number is 3 more than 7. So first thing would be to assume the number. 
so let us assume that let the required number be y now let us read the condition again find the number such that one fourth of the number means y by 4 and this y by 4 such that one fourth of the number is 3 more than 7 if it is 3 more than 7 that means y by 4 minus 7 should give us 3 now let us solve this equation let us transpose minus 7 we get y by 4 is equal to 3 plus 7 or y by 4 is equal to 10 now it remains to remove this 4 that can be done by multiplying with 4 on both sides this becomes 4 into y by 4 equal to 4 into 10 solving further gives us y equal to 40 we can confirm our answer by putting y equal to 40 in the left hand side of the equation that is 40 by 4 minus 7 this will give us 10 minus 7 which is equal to 3 and which is same as the right hand side of the equation hence we have confirmed that y equal to 40 is the required answer let us read the question Raju's father's age is 5 years more than 3 times Raju's age find Raju's age if his father is 44 years old we start by assuming that let Raju's age be x. Then Raju's father's age is 5 years more than 3 times Raju's age. That means 3 times Raju's age means 3 times x. And father's age is Five years more than three times Raju's age means three x plus five. This was three times Raju's age. Also, it is given that his father's age is forty-four. That means three x plus five is given to be forty-four. Now let us solve this equation to find Raju's age. Let us transpose this 5. We get 3x equal to 44 minus 5. 3x equal to 39. Now let us divide by 3 on both sides. we get 3x by 3 equal to 39 by 3 solving further gives us x equal to 13 or we can say that Raju's age is 13 years. 